save your bringers. Don't do bringers a lot because uh, you want the people to see when you're good and like everyone does a bunch at the beginning and then later on when they actually matter, uh, people are sick of seeing you and you're actually good at that point. When I first started going on the road, I was used to doing shows in like little tiny rooms in New York and clubs in New York and it's a different thing uh, playing to people outside of the city and just learning how to deal with different people in different situations and be comfortable in front of any type of crowd uh, is something I, I wish I had a little bit more experience in before I hit the road. I got fired. I got thrown out of the club. Uh, I did one show. I was supposed to do like a weekend worth of shows. I did one night and then they called me the next day and threw me out after... That night at the club, the guy was like, oh, no, yeah, you're fine, you're fine. And then he, he got me fired uh, behind my back because I'm, I'm an intimidating guy, I guess. And he couldn't just say, uh, you can go home uh, to my face. Um, and, yeah, that kind of sucked. And it was recently after I uh, – it was pretty soon after I started doing comedy full time. And I was looking for a lot of encouragement from life. Uh, and that was uh, the exact opposite. There's shows that are just great, you know, like they're just they're good shows. I tell my jokes and everyone laughs and it's like cool. But then if you're looking for like good in an interesting way, it's like something there's something just crazy weird about the show and you work with it. Like you don't really know much about the the venue and you walk in and it's like a death metal bar and and you and the other comics are like oh shit, uh, and then that ends up being the best show you've done in like six months and you're like what? Like it's just it's fun. I I think the best shows are the ones where you you're kind of like, you, you make the best lemonade out of your lemons. I guess just real people doing stupid stuff. That's the easiest way to look at it. Just, you know, be the way people really interact. And things that, like, dumb situations that happen in real life. And, um, yeah, like, laugh at the dumbest things. And then, like, I'll also laugh at something that happened on Howard Stern three weeks ago, like when I'm alone in an elevator by myself. I find a lot of stuff funny. Hey, I'm Mike Trainer, and this is Five Questions with Steve Offsetter, and I'm not wearing pants.